Good morning, Capital Extra Breakfast. What's going on? You're locked in with Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie, wrapping up your week in very, very good company. Now, we have got two superstars in the studio today. Uh, one coming from LA, an American actress and a writer, known for her roles maybe in Maggie and A Man Seeking Woman, or Alice in Plus One. Other that is a rapper, comedian, actor, director, a Golden Globe and Grammy winner. You might also know him by the name of Childish Gambino. They both start in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You can now enjoy uh, as a series on Amazon Prime Video. It's Donald Glover and Maya Erskine. Thanks, guys. Thank wow. you. What an Shana, intro. Robert. <laughs> so nice. Do you want to know? Yeah, this morning we were talking about bringing back UK slang. And there's oh, a yeah. slang word called skeen uh -huh. in the UK. And we was like, Maya, skeen. Do you know what skeen is? No, you know what does it mean? mean? It's like, in it. It's just like everything. I like, love that. Skeen. Yes, it's like, skeen. Uh, like, use it for me. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Robert, I'm going to go on the bus home and then I'm going to eat lunch when I get home. Skeen. Oh, so it's like, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I love it. Okay. Skeen. Skeen. So you can take yeah, that with like, you wherever skeen. you go. Please now. just call me Skeen. I will. Okay. Thank you. How's the UK treating you, though, anyway? How's it going? I love it here. Yeah, it we is. haven't. It's not enough time though, because I really want to explore and you hang. You guys' radio is better. Really? really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, because somebody left the radio on in my hotel room, and I was like, "Man, y'all really love your like mixes and like it's always an interesting." Like I, I just walked in, you know, like. Dun, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm like, yo, I'm in the UK. Like, you know, like, shout out Georgia Smith. Georgia Smith, yeah, man. You're here to talk about your brand new series, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, which is streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. For someone who has absolutely no idea, hasn't even watched the original film, Maya, what is it all about? This is quite different from the film, so I would even think of it as its own own project, but it's um, about two lonely people who sign up for a job where they have to pretend that they're married and complete tasks, yeah. missions every week. Every week? Like, yeah. yeah, pretty much every week. I don't like remakes. Mm. Oh. Like, most of the time, like, I'm not, like, a big remake person. No. So the only way we would really do this is if, like, I was like, oh, this is, I felt like the original left a lot up to in the air. So, like, we could do, like, I was like, oh, we, this is very different in a lot of ways. I feel like the, the main core of it is still the same of just, like, it being about... A relationship, but yeah, it's basically just like two lonely people, which we felt like during the like pandemic was like mm. something that was worth talking about and like writing yeah, about. Yeah, it explores marriage in a real way, and a lot, you know, because it's eight episodes, so you get to really go into the nuances of a relationship, but it's in a against a spy yeah. genre backdrop. Yeah, that's crazy. So, how did you get into character? How did you? Get oh. in the mindset for this role. <laughs> uh, I sequestered myself for eight months. <laughs> uh, Amazon made for it all. Uh, like, uh, no. In a weird way, it's like we, we started writing this during the pandemic, so I had a lot of time to know this dude and like we'd talk about him and like, you know, really just uh, uh, hanging with Maya, like kind of like, okay, what a, what what type of person is he? And I got I feel like I always just look at who I am and then just sequester off parts of me that I'm like, okay, I, I would do that, but mm -hmm. this person is hurt in this way, or, like, this person thinks of that as, like, sacrilege, so, like, he wouldn't do that, and I, I think it just took a... The more you do it, the the more you feel like him, I think. It, mm -hmm. it, it took that time. And what about you, Maya? For me, I mean, I... So, when he approached me with this, I had just had a baby, and so, I for me, I, I tend to work on characters from... In like a physical place so I come from external so I I had to train a lot and I had to get to a point where I could do at least one push up and <laughs> then maybe five and hold a gun <laughs> believably so that to me the like strength training which I had never done before was a massive part in building that and then I kind of went from there and getting to know who this character was you guys mentioned um, this show being you know separate to the film obviously having the same name and the same kind of core mm -hmm. I guess to it as you know a relationship with the spy background um, did you guys feel any pressure though moving mm. off of a, like the same kind of vein you know to yeah. live up to the film did you guys speak to the originals from the film did you get did you have to get any blessing did how did it how did it work for you we had to kiss the ring we had to go like, <laughs> like meet them both no Brad. If I was I was you know yeah I did I did meet Brad I, I did meet Brad once, and, like, we, we talked a little bit. But, like, you know, I'm a very big under-promise, over-deliver. Okay. okay. And I feel like mm -hmm. with remakes, people already hate them. Like, okay. people already kind of are mad about, like, and, and which I like. Like, I mm -hmm. think that makes, that, that puts you in a place where you're like, you don't have to do 
that much to make people you just have to have a a, a point of view you know and not do the exact same thing over because if people like you know if people like the sandwich and you're like oh we're gonna make the sandwich again people are like man but i had that you yeah. know like yeah. i had it already and i don't I think the the response to the the trailer has been like really it showed me like oh yeah the trailer showed people like oh this isn't the exact same thing like you know like and I'm really happy about that. It's a reimagining. Yeah. Yeah. Reimagining. Reimagining. Mm-hmm. Word for today. We love that. Mm-hmm. We've um, seen clean that reimagining. A clean <laughs> reimagining. No, a clean, 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 clean and reimagining. Clean. These are two words. Those are the words of the day. <laughs> yes. You know, like, we're gonna use that. We've seen you speak about having all women writing rooms mm-hmm. for this show. What was that like? How did that come about? And why is that important? Also, and Francesca Sloan, who like wrote with uh, wrote with us on 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 Atlanta. She's like an amazing writer. Really, mm-hmm. really sweet person. Really good friend. And she, uh, w- when we started writing it, we were like, well, I-, I just wanted, we were like, w- one thing that we thought was important, honestly, like, it wasn't really about, like, I, I hate it when things just feel like they're for show. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, I-, I-, I didn't want it to be for show. We were like, we just want this show to have, a, uh, like, a woman's perspective. Because I felt like it was it, the first one, like, I felt like, you know, lots of explosion, lots of... But I was like, if we we're going to talk about relationships, I felt like it might be cool to have uh, a woman's, like, like narrative throughout the entire thing. Like, not even just story-wise, but just, like, just the, the gays. Mm-hmm. Like, I felt like the gays was, would be cool. So, like, it, me and my brother were in the writer's room, but everybody else was, was a woman. And I feel like it just helped the show <laughs> have, like, a very, like... Especially, like, with, like, I think things being, like, sexual and stuff like that. I was like, what... One time on Atlanta, I was... We were shooting something, and it was there was a sex mm-hmm. scene, and I remember Amy, uh, a friend of mine who's a director, she was directing that episode, and she was like, do you want this to be hot to men or women? And I was like, <laughs> women. <laughs> women, like, I was kind of like, women, please. Like, you know what I mean? And, Very different. Like, yeah, it was, and it was, she shot it differently, and I always, always remembered that, and I was like, oh, that's a... That's a good question to ask yourself. Like, who's your audience and how to how to do this? Can I ask what the difference was and how she shot it? Like the she she shot it less like oh the act is the thing. Right. She, the feeling to me when I saw it, it was like oh like a lot of it was like from the doorway, mm-hmm. like ah. a lot of it from the doorway more just kind of like oh I feel like her and like this is it allows me to be a part of this feeling rather than like I'm doing right. it or I'm getting done to. The way <laughs> like, she shot think. our sex scene was, am- but we, I don't yeah. think it ever made it into it, right? I, I in think the there's final parts edit. of it. Is, I think is there's there? parts of it, yeah. I think now, there's parts of it. Sorry for going into it. She had the camera like just going back yeah, and forth yeah. slowly. Slowly you know? kind of a catching it and yeah, then like yeah, just, yeah. or just moments of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These little BTS moments yeah. that we're getting here. Like, oh, yeah, sorry about great. that. great. No. <laughs> um, whilst you guys are in the building with us, we want to play a little game with you. It's called 60 Seconds. Uh, we give you a minute on the clock and get to know as much as we can about you in that time. We ask you quick fire questions. You answer as quick as you can. It's, yeah. it's very easy to do. Okay, okay. <laughs> 60 seconds, let's go. Three, two, one. Donald, what's the best thing about working together? Um, I really love that how funny she is. Like, it's really fun to, like, <laughs> I'm not worried about, like, offending her. Like, she's always just going to, like, make, you know, make it a joke. Nice. <laughs> Great. Maya, what's the worst? What's the worst? Nice. <laughs> Here comes the joke. Let's go. It, it, it's not... <laughs> Let's no go. joke. There... <laughs> there really is no bad thing about working with Donald. I I would say the worst would be that that. Just say I... my breath. Just say it. Just say it. You want to say? Maybe that it. he's so present and I'm so not that I'm like always <laughs> looking to the future of like it. The, so it actually helps me. It's like the worst and the best thing because I'm like, why are you like this? Why can't I be like this? <laughs> <laughs> What's the biggest lesson you both learned on set? How to hold a gun. Yeah, that oh, wow. was, that like, was... I like, yeah, like that was basically it. Like most of the, like keeping your finger away from the trigger, oh, yeah. like yeah. your chest and all that mm-hmm. stuff. Like basically, like there was a guy there who was always like, I, you wouldn't do that. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. What guy? Like, is that's this? dangerous. Where'd you get this guy from? The ropes. <laughs> <laughs> No, but it's true. When you watch a lot of TV, you see people holding guns, and it looks really cool. But that's actually not how uh, yeah, you would hold to it. Do it. So yeah, I think we went in oh, and out yeah. of that. That would be. I would say my my biggest lesson was from Donald. It was about being present no, and no. not not thinking about the schedule constantly. I live life like a dog. He, yeah, if you tell I, him yeah. to <laughs> sit, he will sit, and yeah, he's I'll happy. Be like, 
I'm happy anywhere. Like, I, just, like, okay, yeah, it's I fine. love that. All right, Donald, uh, when you're off getting in the zone for filming, what do you listen to? Krogman. Like, I really like them. I really like uh, this guy named... Uh, Dang, oh, who was I listening to on set all the time? Oh, you were listening to... You would sing the song... Um, he sang at your... Oh, Steve Lacey. <laughs> Steve Lacey. <laughs> yes, I listen to Steve Lacey a lot. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like a couple, you know. Because <laughs> <laughs> you would hum it all the time. I'm like, did you write that song? No, and it was and like, I was like, no. no, I just love this And song. then I fell in love with it. Yeah. 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 Eddie, last... Eddie Chacon. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Eddie Chacon. Last question. Who wore the pants on set? <laughs> You. I, I kind of think. Yeah, I yeah you did. Pants. Like, it was I feel you. like, Donald, we gotta, yeah, we gotta like, ask for this. Like, right we gotta now. ask for this right now. <laughs> do it. We gotta just... <laughs> ask, ask for me. Yeah, now, like, go. <laughs> she was She's really. Because I didn't know. Like, she'd be like, do you. Can you believe that we're not getting lunch for. Like, and I'd be like, oh. <laughs> I really what? didn't know. And she would know, like, two weeks in advance, like, things that were gonna we're happen. We're gonna be on a boat at yeah. <laughs> 6, <laughs> 6 a.m. We, we can't you... do it at night. Are you insane? And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> So she present yeah, yeah. and future. Yeah. 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 60 seconds with Donald Glover and Maya Erskine. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Skin. 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 Yeah. All right, we want to do one more thing with you because we're talking about your new series, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Mm -hmm. We want to put to you some Mr. and Mrs. Smith's of our own, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're couples. Couples! <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Ask you a question about a couple. Okay. And you've got to figure out which Mr. or which Mrs. is the winner from the question, basically. Okay. okay. It all makes sense to you. First, First couple. question, let's go, go on. First couple. Out of Beyonce and Jay-Z, who has the most streamed song? The most streamed? Beyonce? I'm going to say Beyonce. What song? What song? Dang, that's a really good... Would it does, be an does older Destiny, one? Yeah, does Destiny ca yeah. Child count? Yeah. Does, this, does Destiny Child count? Yeah. yeah. So then is it... Maybe Bootylicious or Say My Name. I mean, like, Say My Name, I don't know if it's as, it's, it's popular. Like as popular. I love as Say My Name, but... Is. Then let's say Bootylicious. Bootylicious? You know you're wrong anyways. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> okay you know, like, was it you're, just... like, you're like, all of this is moot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, whatever. Was it Jay-Z? Jay-Z. It's a trick question. I was about to say. I was like, it might be You should have said. All right, no, next one. We know time is very, very tight. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky, who is older? Rihanna? ASAP? Which answer is that? Which answer? <laughs> you know Rihanna. I, I, yeah, but I don't know how old they She's, like, she's young, She is young, right? but I'm like, but I feel like ASAP, I, I just remember him coming out after her. Doesn't matter. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just going to say Rihanna. I just, okay, I'm just going to say you it. go. Rihanna is the right answer. Well yeah, done, well done, well right. done. Correct. Correct. Good correct. Job. correct. All right, correct. final question. Out of Barack and Michelle Obama, who graduated with a Bachelor of Arts majoring in sociology? Michelle. Michelle. I'm going to say Michelle. No, Mich no. We're wrong. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I was like, because, well, they were both studying. Like, yeah, boy. didn't they go to the same... Like, the law school? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is shameful. This is so shameful. Uh, happy Black History Month, guys. <laughs> like, First answer, you were correct. It was Michelle. I know that. Right. Yeah, I know. You were questioning it, but yeah, that was, was right. Yeah, that was right. Well done, guys. You yeah. got two out of three. That's okay. not too bad. Right. That's not too bad. Right. Couple goals in that. Two yeah. out of three. Yeah. <laughs> Before you go, it's been great having you in the studio. Thanks so much for your time. What is the one memory, moment, scene that we're never going to see that you're going to remember from filming this series? I mean, I always go to the fart scene. I don't... I mean, the fart I, scene is great. One of my favorite... I don't know if it's in it, but it's when I fart and we both grab guns. Yeah, like... We, yeah. <laughs> we, it wakes like me up in the middle of the night and we, we that's the ultimate spy sandwich that yeah, I'm like, like, oh, it's an intruder. Yeah, get like, your gun. Is it like pretending? Like, but like also like trying to get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, that is a great... I mean, but also that whole... We, that, that scene took place at a hotel... Mm -hmm. that we were shooting at in Italy, and everybody was at the hotel, and it was kind of weird. It was like college. It was like, you know, university It was like college and, like, The Shining. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was both. strange. It was both. And I just remember that very well, because the feeling of being there with everybody, because you'd shoot all day, you'd be on, a, you'd be cold, and then you'd come home and all have, and dinner, together. All have dinner together. Yeah. Like, it was like school. It was yeah. Oh, that's yeah. sick, man. That's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for joining us. Remember, you can watch Mr. and Mrs. Smith Prime video streaming right now. One more time, let's give it up for Donald Glover and Maya Erskine. Yeah.